we're gonna mix it up a little bit. We're not gonna be working off of a Raspberry Pi today. Rather, I wanted to do a how to install Kodi on your Fire Stick video. And I know that in the past, there's been a lot of these videos out there, but Kodi has changed their entire website in the last week or so uh, to go along with all their, their new, well, with their totally new build. They, they were previously on Jarvis and now they're on Krypton. Um, and I used to do this through ES File Explorer, but with the new website, it really doesn't work so well. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, show you guys the new way that I found out. So uh, go ahead and uh, grab your remote. First thing you have to do is head over to settings and go down to device. Now I am working on the new, um, the newer version of the Fire Stick with the quad processor. Uh, if you have the older one, it doesn't have the uh, Alexa voice and everything. This will work too. Your layout's just different, but you can follow the same steps. Uh, so go down to developer options and you want to turn these two on ADB debugging and apps from unknown sources. And the reason you do that is Kodi is not in the Amazon app store. So we have to go directly to the Kodi website to install it. And that's considered an unknown source. So we have to allow that. So go ahead and uh, when you're done, press the home button and hop over to your search. And I'll give you guys a quick tip. If you don't already know, there's a totally free app you can download um, called uh, Amazon Fire TV. And what that does is it allows you to use your phone as a controller for your Fire Stick. And the nice thing about that is that you don't have to uh, scroll around and type with the remote. You can just use the keyboard on your phone. Um, so what you want to do is go ahead and type in Downloader. That's the name of the app we're looking for. And it's right there. Oh, even though I clicked an extra button. Click on that, and uh, there it is, the big orange box with the white arrow. Uh, click on that. It's going to come up with uh, an option to select Get. I did download this previously, but yours will say Get. So it only takes a second to install. And once it's done, just go ahead and hit Open. Uh, it's just giving you an update alert here for what they've been doing. Just hit OK. Um, so it's nice that actually already pre-fills the beginning of the path we're about to give it here. So we have to get to the Kodi TV website. So go ahead and uh, type in Kodi, if I can type on here, dot TV slash download. All right, and when you're done, just go ahead and hit the download button. Um, and go ahead and click on open in browser. And this is fine. Uh, you won't have to sweat that. Just hit OK. And here we go. If you do this with ES File Explorer, you don't get this cursor and you're not going to be able to do the next step. So this is definitely the program to do this with. Just use it to scroll on down and you want to click on the Android. Fire Stick does run on an Android operating system. So that's what we want. Give that a click. And what you want to do, don't get the 64-bit, it's too much for the Fire Stick. Get the 32-bit arm right here. Give that a click. All right, so that initial download finished, and this is the Fire Stick asking if you want to install the application that you just downloaded, which we definitely do. So press down on your remote once, and then over to the right, uh, highlight install, and press Enter. All right, so finished installing. It only took about 20 seconds. Uh, Cody ready to launch. It says on the Fire Stick. I'll just hit down and to the right, press open. And Cody 17.1 Krypton, that is the latest build or the latest make of Cody that there is right now. So you're in Cody. Some of you guys have your own uh, wizards and setups you like to do. You're free to go ahead and do that now. Uh, for those of you that want to know how to put up a wizard, I did make a video on this previously, but I'll just do it from here as well. Um, so go ahead and press up and go to your settings wheel here in the dead center. And hit down once and to the left, we want to go to system settings. Um, on the fire stick, we allowed apps from unknown sources, but we do have to do it within Kodi as well. So go down to add-ons, unknown sources, press enter. Yes, we want to allow that and hit back 
So now that we allowed apps from unknown sources, you want to go over and down to file manager. And we're going to add a source. So go ahead and hit enter. I'm going to use my, uh, my phone as a keyboard here just to speed things up. But the name of the source is HTTP colon slash slash repo dot stvmc slash or I'm sorry dot net then slash so repo dot stvmc dot net slash go ahead and hit OK and now you're just going to give a name to it whatever you want to call it I definitely recommend you just put a little dot in front of it because later it's going to float to the top of our list with the dot in front um, I'm just going to call this one uh, streams TV or rather uh, yeah I'll call it spins TV actually not streams okay again you can name it whatever you want it's not going to affect it just know what you name it hit OK and OK again if you type something wrong you will get an error message right there um, so I'm sure it's probably just a small typo just go ahead and double check so now you're going to hit back and back again and go down to add-ons and what you want to do is go up to this open box icon on the top of the menu press enter and go to install from zip so right there whatever you named it if you put a dot in front of it it's going to be right at the top of your list if not just look for whatever you called it hit enter and we're going to go into repository and that's what we're waiting for the little pop-up on the top right that means it worked so go into install from repository and you're going to have spins tv down here and you want program add-ons then you want to go to spins tv wizard and install you're already highlighting it it's going to zip right along here what this is going to do is give us access to all the spins tv builds so here we go pop out comes up this is just telling you about their website you could just hit dismiss um, and this is a little pre setup menu. Uh, the only thing I like to do on here, and you don't have to, I just turn off clear cache on startup. It's a good thing to clear your cache. Um, the reason I don't like them doing it every time I turn it on is because if you're watching a TV show and you're keeping track of the episodes with the little check marks that Cody leaves, this is going to delete that every time you turn it on. And I like to have that. So I'll disable that on mine. It's up to you on yours. Go ahead and hit continue when you're done. Uh, and you want to hit build menu. All right, we're almost done. Scroll down. Uh, Spins TV actually added a few builds since my last video. I'm personally not a fan of them, but feel free to check them out. I'm going to stick with uh, Spins TV Premium Light. I think it's a great build for the Fire Stick as well as the Raspberry Pi works very well it looks nice so that it doesn't overload anything whatever build you want go ahead and click on it and then you're going to come to this same menu and click fresh install you're going to get a pop-up box go ahead and press continue and it is now downloading this will only take a few minutes maybe like three minutes or so all right so like i said about three maybe four minutes went by um and now it's going to ask you would you like to force close cody or reload profile you want to force close it the wizard cannot install until you totally close out of cody um don't worry about this just go ahead and press your home button and now we need to get back into cody go to home and go down until you see your apps and games cody's going to be hiding from you all the way to the right um, and real quick before we go back in, press the menu button on your remote and you want to hit move to front if this is something you're going to use often enough. I know I do. Um, so there it is. So go ahead and go back into Cody. And this particular build, when you go back in, it's probably not going to look like it worked right away. It's going to look like Cody before, just like that. 
Um, just let it sit for a minute. Everything's going to install. Even if it mine popped up pretty quick, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. That's fine. Just let it sit. It's going to work. And there you go. Brand new Cody build. Brand new Spins TV build. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I will be doing a follow-up to this on uh, a couple settings to tweak when you first launch a new build. Um, but if you guys liked it, appreciate it. If you would hit the like button, uh, share it with anybody that might find it helpful, and consider subscribing. Thanks, guys.